Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Time Walk TV. Today we're going to be playing, well, we're going to be playing some arena, obviously, but, you know, with all this Bant scape shift stuff going on, I was like, hmm, we should play Is It Phoenix. I think that'd be a great deck to lose the Bant scape shift with. No, but seriously, this deck is super powerful and I can't wait to play some matches with you guys. So sit down, buckle up, and get ready for some gameplay coming up. Ooh, baby, welcome to Arena. I'm so excited. I love this deck. I love the color combination. I like drawing cards. I like a lot of stuff apparently today. But seriously, this deck is amazing. Arclight -like Phoenix, ooh, man. It is the Scourge of Modern. Maybe not too much anymore, but it's still there. And we like to draw cards. We like to play Shocks. We like to kill their stuff, and we like to swing with big, giant drakes. So this is the deck for you if you like all that stuff. Uh, moving on to the sideboard, pretty standard stuff. We got Spell Pierce in the Gates, some Narsets for the control matchups. Uh, the little difference I'm doing here is I'm adding three Flame Sweeps because it doesn't hit our Arclight Phoenixes, and it takes out all the 2-2 Zombies from the Bant Skate Shift deck, so we're really going to try to target that a little bit. Uh, Chandra Awakened Inferno is a kind of an, another little uh, iffy card. It's a 6 drop, but we're going to try to make it work since it kind of just wins the spot against uh, Nexus decks, stuff like that, if, as long as they don't get going too quickly. So uh, that's the deck, and let's go ahead and jump into some matches. Hey everybody, we're here for game number one, match number one. Looking at a hand for her, our Is It Drake's deck here. Um, doesn't look too bad. Mm, well, we have a shock into a, a tormenting voice, so that's actually not too bad because since we'll probably get our second red source to cast Drake. If not, if we just get another blue source, we can also cast Kefnan on four. We really want to see more removal since we don't have um, kind of the nut draw with tormenting voice and other things to discard. So let's go ahead and keep this seven. Doesn't look too bad. I kind of like Kefnet. You know, this guy, he's pretty crazy. Uh, I like him with the new Fish Through Time. Was it Drawn from Dreams? So you basically can cast Dig Through Time, which is pretty pretty crazy. We're going to lead on our Mountain in case they have like a Hero Precinct 1 that we want to kill. So that's always something. We want to make sure we keep track of what they're doing so we can kind of play around it. But if they play Hero, which they won't because they don't have any white mana, uh, we could have shocked it there. So that's actually something pretty cool. So blue... And watery grave, so maybe a control deck. Not too sure, but I think we're just gonna ditch this extra island we have here. Keep churning through our deck, try to get through as many cards as possible, and just see uh, if we can find some phoenixes to get this game over with. So it looks like we're against Esper Control here. So at this point, hmm. So they've. Maybe they were waiting on the white source and didn't get it till now. I think we just shock this now, get it out of the way. We don't want them to make a bunch of tokens. Let's play our tap lane so we're not taking any damage. Next turn we can either play Drake or Kefnet. Uh, probably Kefnet over Drake just to start because it's only a 2-4. This is a 4-5. Ooh. Maybe we kill that actually with Finale of Promise. Because if we, so here's the scenarios that I'm going through in my head right now. So if say we play Kefnet to throw up a block for this. They cast a removal spell, hit me for two, steal a card. Not good. And that works for both of these cards right here. These both are susceptible to like a Mortify or um, not necessarily a Tyrant Scorn, but they could just bounce it if it's a Tyrant Scorn. So I think what we'll do here is we'll cast this for four, or sorry, for two. And we'll get Shock, and we'll get Tormenting Voice. So let's put Tormenting Voice in the stack first, discarding uh, Island. And then we'll play Shock, targeting the Thief of Sanity. So we can take care of their threat and draw two cards, kind of set up for next turn. So yeah, we have a Lightning Strike for their next threat. We also have Opt, which is really good. We're still looking for our Phoenixes, but we have a better chance of getting on the board this time because we have two threats and they have to answer 
you know, either one of them. Now, they took Kefnet, which is really smart because they can't ever kill this unless they put it under an enchantment. So, not too bad, not too bad. So, here's where it gets a little interesting. I think we just play Drake and let them bounce it. They only have two cards in hand. They'll go up to four next turn if they do that, but I get to draw two cards pretty much off of it. Uh, I'm going to play Sulfur Fall, so they know my whole hand. Mainly doing this so that I can opt this turn as well. So we're going to draw Tormenty Voice. That's not too bad here. So they're probably going to minus Tefri, and that'll go to two, and that opens it up to Lightning Strike. And they do have Mortify. Now the now the Esper Hero decks that I'm used to don't really play Mortifies, uh, mainly because they just have better stuff to play and they can play the uh, Oath of Kaya's which gain them life and do a lot more there so let's start out with an opt lightning strike huh let's keep that and then we'll double strike that let's just uh, get this Tefri out of the way doesn't really hinder us too much now this one I'm actually gonna shock because if they play a hero, I wanna I wanna kill it immediately. Because if you don't kill it immediately, it's gonna make more tokens than than we can deal with. So Soren, and it's the stained glass Soren. So they're gonna Soren minus and probably get back one of these two, which we have a shock lined up for them. Most likely they they minus here. Minus on the hero, sure thing. And they probably have a dual color spell. Oh, they don't. Sweet. Now I'm going to leave their Soren where it is. Now they could have Tyrant Scorn to bounce. Yep. So I lose my shock. They get their hero back. Oh boy. That is quite the spell there. Quite the spell indeed. What do we do here? Maybe we hold this. They can't minus on their three drop. Next turn they are definitely gonna play hero and this will take care of both hero and, well maybe not both, but uh, let's, let's just cast this ditching the other tormenting voice right now. Not too bad. Play our land. I'll we'll play finale for three. Um, we will take lightning strike and tormenting voice. Tormenting voice will discard our arc like phoenix, and lightning strike will take out the soldier. This will allow us to draw two cards. Too bad. This will take out that. Our Phoenix will take out Soren, so we're pretty much completely in control of this game. As long as they draw kind of dead this turn and just play their hero, and we don't have any follow up with like a dual colored spell. Sweet. Alright, so we're just going to start off with the shock. Just get that out of the way. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's chart a course. Maybe I should have opted first. Discard. I'm going to actually discard the opt because I want to get a body on board. Okay, so there goes two more creatures to the bin. Uh, let's swing. Now if they are able to kill this, I have the finale of promise. The best thing about this card, the best, best, best thing is that it counts as three spells when you cast it for two. So four mana, two spells, this plus the other two cast is three spells cast in a turn. So that's super, super exciting. Well, not really exciting. It's more just like, you know, beat down city. Whew. That's pretty good. Hmm. What do they have in hand, though? Let's do this for... Let's do it for two. We are going to opt... And we will chart a course. Chart a course will ditch our other Phoenix. So 
So we'll off that to the bottom and draw. All right, so we put a land on the bottom, drew a land, drew two cards, discard Phoenix. Move to combat. Swing our Phoenixes at Teferi to kill it and Augur to get that free damage in. We have a ton of lands here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there's the Oath of Kaya. So they, they probably run like one Mortify and like three Oath of Kaya or something along those lines. Um, like I said before, Finale of Promise has been fantastic ever since you know I put it in the deck. Like no complaints at all for that like souped up snapcaster mage type thing going on. Lava coil to the bottom again. Crackling Drake is a 15-4. Holy cow, that's crazy freaking big. Okay. Drake's a big big boy. Big boy Drake. Oh, this guy is deader than a doornail. Okay. Well, we took game one. This deck just continues to impress. This is a control. No, this is not a control deck. It's a hero deck. A hero deck. Um, honestly, I think the sweeper is actually not too bad. It might be going into a long game. Maybe, maybe I take out the drakes or maybe the arc lights. Hmm. I mean, I definitely. Well, let's see. What did Lava Coil hit that I care about? I don't think anything. I think we do a just a swap because Shocks are super good against their deck because they're running Thief of Sanity versions. Lightning Strikes are good. So let's let's tr let's try this out. We'll take out our Lava Coils. We really don't feel. I feel like we don't need them. Flame Sweep's pretty good against Thief and Hero. Um, I think we don't want Drakes, even though they end the game really quickly. This is more of a long game play. And yeah, maybe we don't want these either. Huh. It's tough. There's so many counter spells. Like, I feel like I bring in like all these, all these things. That's nice that uh, Flame Sweep does not kill Augur either. Kefnet, huh? Herm. It's hard to hard to check here. I'm gonna take out lightning strikes. And one of those for what? Uh one, two. Uh, we'll take out all these actually. Let's try that. So we put in our negates, we put in our Chandras, we put in our Narsets. Against Hero. I don't know how this will fare. I kind of went more deep into the Planeswalker side because I have the, the uh, what is it, the Flame Sweep card. So I can kind of catch up if they if they get ahead of us too too quickly. But we'll see how it ends up. I mean, if, you know, all else fails, we still have, we still have game three. So I'm not too worried about it. Double Phoenix in hand is going to be nice with these two cards here so I can ditch these early. Possibly not anymore. But we'll see. Alright, goodbye tormenting voice. Alright, let's chart a course. Holy phoenixes, boy. Woo! Lots of phoenixes right now. We are phoenix heavy. Pretty, pretty phoenix heavy. We were going to be casting one of these on four. You best believe it. Alright, so let's play auger. What do we got? Shoot. Flames is pretty good. I'm going to take a negate. And we'll say go. If they want to bounce this, that's fine. I get to activate it again. Um, they could have a Basilica Belhaun, which would stink. Whew. That's dirty. That's dirt McGirt right there. Cool. We've knocked this down to three. Their Teferi Time Raveler, Time Raveler down to three. So if they want to bounce something, then they have to uh, kill their own Teferi. But now they have a Hero of Dominaria, which is 
also not nice. Also not fun. I forgot Chandra has a minus ability that, or minus three ability that kills almost everything. Okay, so it's very untaps. Maybe they have a bounce spell. Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty good. Um. Yeah, I think I do that because I want to draw more cards. This gets to go into play, and I get to play this. So let's opt first. Bottom. No, we'll we'll draw that because that's our sixth land for Chandra. We will play this for two. Play opt, and we will play Tormenting Voice because Tormenting Voice allows us to discard. Okay, Domes Veto, that's fine. Um, why the reason I was going to do Tormenting Voice over Charter Course is because, as an additional cost to Tormenting Voice, you'd have to discard. Unlike Tormenting or uh, what is it called? This you discard after it resolves. This discards as part of the cost, so you get to discard uh, regardless. So, um, hmm, let's see. I don't care about these things right now because Chandra is going to take care of them all. Um, hmm. Does this? What does this do? X damage target creature or planeswalker. Okay, so let's do that. Let's schwack that guy. And then next turn. Hmm. I don't know. I might have to minus. Ooh, that's pretty pretty good for me actually. Hold that thought. Got good blockers here. Well, Augur's kind of holding everything back, which is sweet. Thief of Sanity. Well, it looks like I am going to minus, minus three the old Chandra here. Maybe not. Okay. Tough. This is a tough one here. If we do this for two, we have negate back up. Opt and tormenting voice. Well, if they have Doma's veto, I'm still screwed. So, fingers crossed. Oh no! Mm, I'm so stupid! Oh, I'm so silly. Why is this card so unfun? Why? Why do you do this to me? Uh, stupid me. Stupid me. Dang it. I'm so dumb. Crud. Well, that's no fun. Man, that's, that's silliness right there. That is gosh darn silliness. Crap. Well, that didn't turn out the way I really wanted it to. <laughs> I totally forgot that this is not until end of turn. It is it is upon resolution. And now they get my Chandra. Man, that is rough. That is super rough. And guess what's on the bottom of my library? Flame sweep. Hmm. It is not looking good for our heroes here. Not indeed. There's a hero. So we have we have outs. We have like our flame sweep. We have another Chandra. Okay, so they're playing the really really safe route right now. Hopefully they don't get one of our good cards. We'll see, I guess. Maybe hit a bunch of lands, please. That'd be great. Hmm. I wonder what they picked. Guess we'll find out. Well, let's get this going here. Attacker. Oh, 
son of a gun. All right, all right. I, I, I give up. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. So let's let's change this up a little bit. We're going to take our negates. Oh, man. What a frustrating game because I could have won that. And I just played like a dummy. A dummy dummerson. <laughs> oh, gosh. Anyway, shake it off. Move on to the next game. We still have a game to win here, and we can do this. The question is, do I keep the negates in? Hmm. I kind of want... Transing Melody might be pretty sweet, but I think I'm, I'm going to take out the negates and just kind of push forward. I don't think I even want Narset, to be honest. I can do two Narsets. How about that? That looks a little bit better because now I still have my my top end here. Let's keep that and see where we're at. I don't think the Chandras should come in in this matchup. Actually, I think thinking about it again, I don't really think it's the best. But we'll kind of just go with it. Of course, I want to play first. Are you kidding me? This thing is gonna get a uh, thought erasured hella quick. That thing is going in the graveyard. I should. I wish I could just put it in there right now. Go, go in there. Not looking good. For, it's not looking good for you. We're very far off. So I think we're going to start off with Mountain so we can shock their non one drops in their deck. And then we're going to play Augur and hope to hit a spell. But most likely we'll play Augur and then we will uh, see a bunch of lands. Holy mother of God. Okay. That is a lot of Chandras. Lots of Chandras. So we saw. We saw a Narset in a land that we wanted. Super duper. Perfect card to discard. Perfect. Draw two cards, please. I said draw two cards, please. Why would you Dovin's veto that? You're a silly goose. I don't like you. <sighs> Alright. Really need to hit some lands shock in well to vary on three all three games is really really uh, annoying <laughs> very annoying indeed of course we didn't hit a land why would we hit a land <laughs> man we are just getting the bad beats see we misplay once in game two and we just keep getting punished it's the way of the world kiddos thief of sanity Yep, could care less about that one. No, sir. Let's opt and see if we can hit another one mana spell. Ooh, one, two, three. Let's keep this because we can ca we can cast Kefnet next turn. And then we'll hit their Teferi for one. Keep their keep their Teferi down a little bit. Alright, so we're not we're not doing too bad. We're going to be able to play Kefnet this turn. I mean, you know, granted they don't have a Thought Erasure or something crazy like that. Now, I don't have an answer for one of their creatures, but it looks like they're playing a little bit more of a long game. Uh, let's go ahead and try for a Crackling Drake that's going to get countered. Guess not. Draws me a land. Perfect. Oh, exactly what I want for Christmas. Alright, Merry Christmas to Fairy. Here comes this guy. What is he like? Like doing a command mail wave or something. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. Well, that ain't good. That thing's still at five. Super duper. Man, when's the last time you saw a Liliana Dreadhorde general? It's been a good minute. It's been a dang good minute. Wow. Man, I haven't seen that card in forever. I mean, they're playing the long game, so... Chandra kind of stops that whole mess. Yeah, we'll go to eight. 
It's actually insane that it goes to eight. Then we have to figure out a way to beat the Time Raveler here. Mr. Time Raveler, why you do this? Whenever a creature you control dies, draw a card. Love this card. Was very surprised that it hasn't seen play until... Well, I haven't seen it played until right now, honestly. This card was like a huge... Like bomb threat in in these decks for a while hmm like F net I don't think they have any counter spells for that but we can't do anything until this is dead Finally, problem it doesn't work with this card in play we have learned our lesson from game two and now we're just gonna try to ride Drawner's coattails all the way to the bank Okay, so, very annoying that they keep bouncing my Kefnet, and I wish I could burn, draw some more burn spells or something. Now, this is going to get problematic pretty, pretty quick here. Yeah, I might have to minus this next turn. Yeah, that might have to happen. They get to draw a whole mess of cards. Well, player Kefnat's going to get bounced again. We'll see you go. Hmm. It's not looking good for our heroes here. This kept this Teferi is just a super super annoying us so bad. Like man, I cannot wait for this card to leave, and it just got here. Like don't get me wrong, I'm a big blue white fan, huge blue white fan. Love playing this card, but man, playing against it is so freaking miserable. It's unbelievable. Like I can't play cards in my deck because of this guy. It's it's super annoying. Oh mama. Wonder why they got rid of this card. I wonder if they realize it doesn't really work. Are you gonna minus this? Okay, yep, there that goes. I wonder if they're gonna leave me at my Chandra. I guess they don't care. Hmm. Untap two lands. Liliana keeps making creatures. Well, let's see here. Let's start off with opting. See what we find. Well, we don't need another land, that's for sure. Torming voice. You know, we're not eh, looking too bad. Get rid of the finale promise that we can't cast. Okay. It's not looking too bad right now. Can't minus, can't do anything. I don't think they have anything we can. We'll do this, that'll be our third spell, I believe. Opt, opt, and Tormenting Voice, so that'll bring back that Phoenix. Doan's Veto, whoo, whoo, whoo. That is gnarly. That will make them, uh... So this is the tough part. Well, this can't do anything for a turn. This is super annoying next turn when I kill all their guys. This is super annoying. Well, this only... This can minus to make a sack to... I do this, so I think I just kill this Teferi. The alternative, the alternative is they take 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12. 
I have two, four, six, ten. They have ten in play right now. This is an ultimate. This is an ultimate. Yeah, maybe I just go dome. I think we're gonna risk it for the biscuit here and just uh, hit him for six. This is gonna drop him to three. And if they can't kill me, then they're dead. Ho oh, ho. We might get there. Um, we might get there. Okay, yep. That doesn't do anything. Because right now they have to kill the art light and gain life. That's going to be put back into my hand, but I cast it again. Yep. Do they have any life gain? Thought erasure. I don't. Uh, yeah. I don't, even Kaya's. What is the oath of Kaya doesn't do it here. Ooh, that's really good. Huh. Hmm. Hit me to 10. Well, they want to kill Chandra. They don't want me to double activate. This thing. Okay. Alright, we're at 13. Not doing too bad. Land is not good. <laughs> Six, seven, huh? Well, I guess I'm doing this and then minusing. You ready to draw a lot of cards? Because <laughs> that's what you're going to do. <laughs> Whew, mama, that's a lot. I wonder if they drew any life gain. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that's so that's crazy, man. <laughs> this is a weird grindy game. Yep, goodbye, Kefnet. You will be you will be sorely missed. Look at that, you can move it back and forth. Yeah, I kinda just sit here and wait and see if they what they do, I guess. They can plus, they can Plus, they can plus. They can plus everything. Make it 2-2, two, two, draw a card, do nothing. Hmm. I kind of feel like uh, like it's Hearthstone right now, where like once you play your spell, you just kind of wait. So they only have four mana left, so they can go to nine if they play another Guild Mage. There's a Precinct 1. I made them draw like their whole deck out. Holy moly. This is intense. This is crazy. Oh, the D spark. Oh, no. Yikes. Move to discard, I guess. Man. Do I have anything else that can like... Well, we do have... We do have Arc Like Phoenix on top, so... If we draw a spell, we're not looking too bad. We're not looking too bad. Like, like I took out Lightning Strikes like because I'm a dummy. So Lightning Strikes are out of the, uh, out of the picture completely. If we can get... We need we need a draw spell. That's not tormenting voice, but we're probably gonna draw tormenting voice because you know we're just feeling real frisky tonight, and we're just feeling like we want we want to just go down in a in a big old garbage fire. Oh my lanta! This is excruciating. Two, four, six, seven. Well, uh, 
go, I guess. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. They can't, if they swing with the elite guard mage, that's kind of not good for them. So, three to your face. It's coming down the wire. Super coming down to the wire. This is tough. Thank goodness that's nine and not eight. We're bouncing that again. Each opponent chooses a permanent they control of each permanent type and sacrifices the rest. That's not good. I think we lose here. Yep, all I got is a land. I got nothing I can do out of from the graveyard either. Man. That's so rough, man. That's so rough. That stinks. Hmm. Could actually hit me for an extra two damage if you were just going to bounce this and replay it. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we lose. Good game, opponent. I got extremely unlucky game three. Game two, I kind of just tossed that in the garbage myself, but game three, pretty unfortunate. All right, after a long fought battle in match one with a devastating loss. We're moving on to game number two. Match number two. Either way, we're moving on to another game. This hand looks exceedingly terrible. We don't have any blue mana to cast this spell, so we're going to mulligan. So now we have all red spells and two highlands, just like we drew it up. Perfect. I'm going to go first. Awesome. Got to put two cards back. We are going to put Augur. And we'll put shoobity boop boop ba doop. I guess we'll put uh, we'll put the shock back. We're gonna play island first. We're really trying to hit our land drops. Uh, we're probably gonna get run over pretty quick. So a feeling putting that shock to the bottom means our what? Someone's going on vacation. You got it. Actually, I'm going to opt first. You're... No, we need lands. Almost there. Pretty close. Get rid of our Phoenix here. Okay, things are coming together. There's our land. We need one more land. We have too much going on here. This is just too much. You might get lucky because of whatever's going on on my opponent's side. But that's not really <laughs> something I like to see. Because if I don't know what's going on, then they could, you know, play basically anything. They're playing blue-white with Traveler's Amulet. Interesting. But we're going to say go. And hopefully we can hit a land drop so we can play this for two and get back our Phoenix. Or we hit a land drop and just play Crackly Drake. Just waiting on our opponent here. The one thing I do appreciate is the land choice. The islands are very nice looking. Well, I guess we'll just jam our Crackling Drake, see what they do to deal with the old 2-4. They have treasure map. Hmm. What could they be doing? Ooh, it's an artifact deck. Oh, it's a Psy artifact deck? No way. That's so cool. I'm completely invested right now. So much investment. Uh, I don't think we want Psy to live. So we'll just kill Psy now. So they can't make any more tokens and the next turn we can finale to get those cards back and get our 
Our Clay Phoenix back, and they let us hit them for four. Beautiful. Only bad thing is, this has two counters on it now. And you know what happens at three? They get some treasure tokens. Which doesn't sound like a big deal, but it can get out of hand really, really quickly. So they're Jeskai. Ooh. Maybe they're playing... Ooh, you know what I think they're playing? Hmm. Let me take a guess here. It's that vault card. That one that flips into a land. Storm the vault or something like that. It's that, it's that blue and red card. That uh, artifacts matter type thing. Okay, okay. I can dig it. We'll get shock to get that guy out of the way. And we'll get tormenting voice. Cast shock on this. Cast Tony voice, discarding our lava coil. Beautiful. And we'll hit them for nine. Boom. Seven. We have we have lethal on board currently. Can you win, opponent? Can you beat us? They have three, four, five, five artifacts. Is this game going to continue? Ugin. That is a very good card, considering. What does it say? And if I have a draw card, sacrifice it, add two mana, two mana of two different colors. Interesting. Well, this makes color of the spells cost two less, so those were free. <laughs> Playing that and then tapping two to make two is sort of okay. Do I have a lightning strike in here? I do. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Sweet. Decline with that one. Ah, crud. That's double red, never mind. Oh, yeah, you can make a guy if you want. Well, let's see how bad this bites me in the butt. It might get me real good. What do you got in hand, opponent? Please... Do something super awesome and beat me. <laughs> Do something crazy, please. That would be so fantastic. Don't let my stupid bird kill you. Puts it on the bottom. Flips the other treasure. Ooh. The suspense is killing me. <laughs> okay, blue, blue. Karn. Three, four, five, six. Oh, you don't have enough for Meteor Golem. What, what you got? Deafening Clarion. Ooh, that's spicy. That's very spicy. That's a good way to protect yourself. Got me for two all day. I am so sad that I have to kill you with a shock. But we gotta win the game. It's our duty. So this this match, oh boy. Um I don't even know what's going on. We don't need lava coils. That's for sure. Um, 
three, four, five. Maybe we get rid of. See, the problem is I don't know what to cut in this deck. I think if we bring in counter spells, we take out a finale. Maybe Augur's not that great. Hmm. They might have to ferry. That's the, that's the issue. They have to ferry. Kind of get, kind of get messed up here. I'm leaving all my shock, leaving all my lightning strikes. That's simple. Spell pierce and negate. Let's run it back. See see what happens. We can always make an adjustment going into game three. We kind of have that leeway here. Now we did mulligan pretty hard that game and still came out on top. So pretty pretty good showing so far by the deck. Our opponent really didn't do anything. They kind of had a little cool turn there at the end. But two islands, Bolas, Charter Course, Kefnet. Key, Barino. We're going to... If we don't draw a land by the time we hit land two, we'll probably Charter Course. But since we did, we're going to Augur Bolas. Simple as that. We don't want to auger with only two lands and then hit a bunch of lands and never find our next land to get, you know, land three. So this rate we'll have a body on board and maybe we'll get uh, a negate out of it or something. Spell pierce is perfect. Thank you. That's a great draw. So now we can chart a course and hold up spell pierce. Block me, baby. <laughs> Beautiful. Hmm. Well, I definitely attacked. Not sure why they're letting me discard. I don't, I don't like that. It doesn't really seem that fair because I attacked. There are 19. Huh. Is Charter Course bugged? Yikes. Welp. Um, I'm going to let that resolve because I do don't really care right now. They know we have a spell pierce. Um, what does this even do? Draws you a card. I'm just gonna spell pierce because it's mana efficient, and you're gonna hit all your land drops, and it's really annoying. <laughs> um, fountain of renewal, huh? That's pretty gnarly. Still unsure why it let me do that, but we'll play Kefnet. Uh, no attacks. We no really reason to attack. Sure, they're going to gain some life off of this. Not really that big of a deal. This card, though. Oh, boy. It's not good for us. Oh, that's why. A better experimental frenzy. You got it. I will gladly reveal that card. Heck, yeah. We will discard Charter Course. Maybe I should have brought in uh, something along those lines to kind of kill the other things. <laughs> like kill these uh, swarm that they're in. So you may look at the top card of your library at any time. You may also cast, or so you may cast the card on top of your library if it's an artifact or colorless non land card. So no creatures. Unless they're artifact creatures. Tap, pay a life, exile the top card to your library. Wowzer. So there is an arc like Phoenix in our bow in our bin here. What do I have in the yard? I have spell pierce and charter course. Not looking great, but it's something. Shoot. Shoot! Hmm. 
got me. I will pay two life because I do not care. I should have tried charter course again. See if it's still bugged. Cause that's that was a load of crap that I was able to discard my my Phoenix. Let's be real. I should not have been able to do that. So the old power stone is gonna get negated. Trust me, I've played with power stone. I know the power that lies within the stone. Sacrifice two artifacts, draw a card. Well that guy's annoying. I'm just going to keep stopping them from doing things and hopefully that works. But I can't I can't say that it's the best plan or the right one. It's just something I'm doing <laughs> right now. <laughs> I'm going to opt because I have field uh, finale I promise. I don't want opt, I want something else. Heck no, I'm not going to reveal Crackling Drake. Of course I'm going to reveal Shock. I'm going to Shock Psy. Okay, so we got that out of the way. Well then. I'm okay with that dying actually. I'm okay with that. So now I attacked with a creature this turn. Allow me to draw cards. Look it. It let me draw cards and didn't have me discard. That one time it was bugged and I have it recorded. <laughs> Oh no. Oh hell no. What? Prison Realm? Oh, you dirty rotten you. Of course. Give me that card back. What do you think this is? Get out of here. That's my boy. Hmm. The old crackling Drake. Nice. I know I get to draw Kefna this turn. Get rid of our other finale here. Well, let's see what we get here. Fountain Runal is doing pretty good. What's in our graveyard is the question. Sahili is not making flyers, thank goodness. Shock, lightning strike. Bring back one. Okay. I think we're in it to kill this and their flyers. Maybe just them. Yep, treasure map it up. We're going to have a pretty sick turn. We're going to have a pretty sick turn here. Not bad. Shock myself because I don't care. Lenny Strike. Your flyer. Finale promise for two. Instant will be Lenny Strike. And our sorcery will be <laughs> Charticors. <laughs> That's our only option. <laughs> uh, shock that thing, and we'll draw two cards. And we will discard this card. Zap, and bring back my Phoenix, please. Thank you. Kill the Sahili. Man. The clicks are not working today, and we'll hit you for three. Wonder why they brought in Fountain of Renewal. It's a very odd one to bring in, just because I deal so much damage so quickly. 
Hey, at least they get to spell pierce this Ugin they're going to play. That's going to feel real good. <laughs> just, just like, I just, I just know. I just know. Like, how are you supposed to beat me when I just know what cards you have? And I just, I just know. So good end to game number two of match two. So now we're on to match number three. All right, we are back. Game one of match three. Hand looks, eh, looks all right. No threat. Only one draw spell. But we get to play this on one. Maybe we'll just play shock on one if they're an aggressive deck. So we're going to keep. We are playing first. Super excited. Love playing first. It's my favorite thing to do besides drawing cards. Oh, they have a cat. I don't want to click it just in case. I don't want to get banned. <laughs> I know, I heard they, they banned people for doing that. That's actually crazy. So we're looking at possibly Nexus or... Uh, what else plays these? this thing? Maybe uh, the Bant... The Bant deck with all the zombies in it. That could be one of the cards. And it is the old Bant Scape Shift deck. Alright, so let's see what we got. Definitely don't want any more lands. Spells, please. Spells. Shock you. Well, maybe I could have just waited on that shock, but... YOLO. Because they play Tranquil Cove, it's almost a dead giveaway that it's the Scape Shift deck. Oh, scumbly bumblies. That's not good. At least I get to hard cast this idiot. <laughs> um, so yeah, because they played a Tranquil Cove, that gives away that it's a Scape Shift deck because Scape Shift is trying to play seven different types of uh, lands to get Field of the Dead going and making tokens for them. Oh, I forgot they run Main Deck Prison Realm. Or at least this this looks like card for card. Uh, LSV's deck from the from the GP that he won. So we're going to have to fight through a Teferi again. Man, I forgot how obnoxious Teferi is. And it's going to make their... Uh... Man, we are just batting a thousand with drawing complete nothingness in all these games. Um, Teferi is just completely obnoxious. Like... And he can play the, his, uh, what are they called? The ramp spells. Holy moly, we are just killing it right now. Let me tell you what. It feels, feels good. It feels good to just have 20, less than 24 lands in my deck and then just, you know, draw a bunch more. So, feels good. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so they're only at six. That doesn't make sense. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, okay. I thought I forgot that they had three different kinds. Yikes. Oh, we're super duper dead, dude. It's not even close. You know, that's pretty unfortunate, but we want Chandra's and we want Flame Sweeps. I don't think we want anything else. Lava Coil is not that good. Um. This is flying too. Beautiful. We'll cut down on one of those. And I don't know what else they run. Yeah, we'll we'll cut down on a lightning strike. We'll run it back like this. I think we're in a good spot because we put those flame sweeps in there. And they're instant speed, so that's that's pretty sweet. Um, it's just another matchup where Teferi is just completely obnoxious and just doesn't let us play magic. But we have to deal with him for quite a while, so the complaining will continue until he's gone. <laughs> I'm so conflicted. Love, hate. I love playing him, but I hate playing against him. 
I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> uh, we'll play this. I don't know if they have any one drops. Probably not. I think just a Boreal Grazer is their only one drop. We'll see. If we can get on the clock pretty quick, we can take out the... We can put the Art Light in, in play quickly. There's the Grazer. Ramp. Ramp, ramp, ramp. Feels good. Ooh, that's a good draw. That's a really good draw. So I'm going to Tormenting Voice because I need to hit land drops and I want to get Arclight in the bin anyway. Oh boy. We are, we are not looking good here. So this doesn't work because stupid Teferi, I swear. This is so frustrating because every time I play against these Teferi decks, they hit Teferi on three like every game. Man, how annoying is that? Man, I wish I had to land. Man, this stinks. Hmm. I don't want to play this because I know I'm going to hit like three lands in a row. And then I'm going to be even more. It's going to stink even worse. All right, let's see what we got here. Man, Teferi is so obnoxious. Now, I think the difference we can do with this deck to maybe counteract Teferi a little more. What in the world? What? Was that in his deck? A Johnny's Welcome? That seems like a really weird card. Oh, this is this is garbage. Um, it seems like a really weird card because it only really goes goes off when you have your Field of the Dead plan in play, which means you're just you're already winning, and you gaining a bunch of life off that doesn't really help your aggro matchup at all. Okay. So, let's kill your Teferi, and it's okay if I get counterspelled. Okay, that's gone. We're, we can we can try to move ahead, but they're just gonna buy another one. Look at watch, ready? Teferi, bam. Not doing too bad right now until they play something, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How did I know? Uh, they have seven different types of lands. Yep, here goes nothing indeed. What do we got here? Of course I miss all my lands at Tap Fair Blue. Oh boy. We're at the lowest of low. We can't escape this card. Man, I can't wait for Brawl. Then we don't have to wor really worry about this card too much because they can only play one of them. Then they can spark double it. Yes, more red sources, please, because my double blue card really, really, really misses it. I mean, they're not doing anything else, which is good, but, man, is it a real pain in the but talks. Um, chart, of course, I guess, just it goes a little deeper there. Let's swing at this guy. Yep, I'm like, oh, I can't do it. Now I can. Let's get him out of the way. They can't bounce it and play it again. Play two lands in a turn. They must have a, ooh, instant speed scape shift. As long as I don't die to this scape shift, then uh, I can clean the board up at least to start. So they have to get seven different lands plus, well, six different lands plus field of the dead. That would equal the seven different lands. I did not see how many ones they got rid of, but it looks like they're going to get three, six, holy moly. Really? Man, this is... 
This just feels so bad. On one hand, I have not drawn a blue source, so I was choked on colored mana, and both games they had Teferi on. They had Teferi on three. Oh, what a frustrating loss. I'm playing another one because that is some bullshit. <sighs> Deep breaths. Pray for no Teferis. Let's do this. Round four. We're going for it a little bit longer than normal. But I just couldn't end on that travesty. We had the tools to beat the deck that's the flavor of the month right now because uh, LSV won the GP with it. And very frustrating we couldn't... Uh, couldn't deal with the Teferi to take care of it so something that we might need to look into a little bit more to kind of counteract that some some way to beat these Teferis so hand looks great we're gonna keep we have four lands opt and uh auger bolus to find some more stuff so let's go and hit island say go next turn we're gonna sulfa falls into auger bolus looks like they are an esper deck Esper variant, possibly. Uh, put a land to the bottom. We're looking for more more spells. Alright, double lightning strike. We have a lot of burn in our hand right now. Hopefully this can find us something a little more exciting. Um, I'm going to go with Charter Course just so I can draw the two before I discard. All these other cards I don't really want to get rid of currently. So, rather get a little deeper before discarding. Narset. Sue. Herb, super super good against my deck. So they're not gonna do that. Interesting. Yeah, we'll take our shock. Really wish we had a Kefnet there. I'll put this into play tapped and see what they do. So this looks like more of the controlling side of it. So there's the bell haunt. We're going to get rid of... Hmm. I think we'll get rid of a lightning strike. We want the land and we want the shocks. Smart. They're not going to go for it. Um, I'll attack there. Sure. Get rid of this. I think we're just... Well, we can actually uh, chart a course and draw some cards, so that's actually nice. So this can get rid of the Bell Haunt. The uh, Lava Coal can get rid of the Bell Haunt. Then we can use Finale Promise to kind of go a little bit deeper in our deck here. Arc Life Phoenix pretty good. Control decks really don't play counter spells anymore. But they do play kill spells. Yep, there's the cast down. Totally fine. Not worried about it at all. Another red source would be nice so we can lava spite or sorry, lava coil into Finale of Promise. Hmm. I will do this for two. We will opt and charter course. Now these decks don't play counter spells uh, unless they play like Dovin's Veto or something along those lines. So we'll opt. Hopefully it's something. Uh, no, we're looking for more action here. Our Light Phoenix is good. Get rid of an Art Light Phoenix. Bring those both back. Nice. And then we'll just keep turning through our deck until we find more Phoenixes and They'll eventually run out of removal spells for our phoenixes. Cast down super good right now. Now next turn we can do this again, which is super cool. Now if they take Lava Coil, it's going to be pretty hard to get rid of Bell Haunt here. They might have double Thought Erasure. Red Land, yes, nice. Other, nope. 
Okay, so we played three spells, got our arc leg back, got the shock him, and hit him for seven in the air. So that was the nail in the coffin there. So let's see. We'll leave in our, I think we leave in our lava coils, to be honest. I think lava coil is one of those cards where uh, bell haunt is a big pain in the butt and we need to kill it. Now, I don't want to take out my shock or lightning strikes because they have to uh, the, the Teferi. I don't think Kefnet's very good. Crackling Drake. Mm. He gets bounced by Teferi, and I think we can take out a Promise. I think Narset's good. Chandra's very good. And Negates are better than other things, so... I'm leaving. Oh, I don't want to leave the shocks in though. I'm gonna take the shocks out. I think bring in spell pierces. Yeah, we take the shocks out. Leave the strikes in. They kind of pair well and and take out uh, opposing narsets with one one activation there. So two chandras. Yeah, we dropped down the finales because we went. Uh, we added five planeswalkers. Pretty simple there. Flame sweep. Nope. Uh, I think we're pretty good, actually. Took Kefnet out because he gets bounced by Teferi pretty easily. And I'm sure they're running any number of, of Teferi, so we'll see what they have. I think I played this person earlier, but I'm not really sure. This deck seems pretty legit. I, I think this is the uh, the control deck that runs two Bell Haunts as kind of pseudo-removal. Uh, hand's great. We get the Bolas into lightning strike or tormenting voice early because we have our four lands we, it doesn't seem too bad all right so we'll play our sulfur falls next turn we are going to auger well that might change we might not auger don't thought erasure me bruh okay what do we got what are they taking what do they think is the best card in our hand? The finale? That's probably correct. But I don't have a one drop, so finale doesn't really do anything until turn four. It's not really useful. Uh, we'll play this and we'll play Bolas and we'll try to find us a decent spell here. And we'll hit absolutely nothing. Man, sometimes this card's great and most of the time it's terrible. Done the hero thing before, or have you? If I do this and hit it to a, just like no sense in doing that. I will save that. Ah, to fairy back again to ruin my night. Let's see if we can. So now they do that. Hmm. I wonder why they chose to do that now. Let's try to zap it. They might have dealt with Vitor and a gate. Okay, they don't. All right, let's see if our Augur Bolas can find us a spell. And we find a finale, I promise. Sweet. We don't have anything in the yard currently that we can bring back. But they are gaining a bunch of life and have Teferi Time Raveler. I don't have any other burn besides Lightning Strike in the yard. So we will see here. Not having enough mana for Spell Pierce was really pain in the butt. Really big pain in the butt there. I feel like this is a very good card against them. Ooh, Chandra. Three, four, five, six. Yep, we will take Chandra. Hope to God that they don't play something crazy. And we'll just say go. And we'll see what happens. Chandra will take them down a peg very easily. Yep, to your next turn. We know you're making it up. You don't have to tell us you're not, because you're just lying. You're a time mage. You silly, silly Teferi. What do they got here? Hmm. 
Oh, oh no. This doesn't work because of this. Ha, ah, you can't draw because of this though. Ha ha ha. Yes, yes. It does feel fantastic. Uh, we'll take our chart of course there. Chandra awakened inferno. I dare you to try to Dovin's veto me. I dare you, dude. Ain't gonna happen. Oh crap. One, two, three, four, five. Goodbye. We are in a good spot here. Killed the Jeferi. They can only plus on that one. We have the Narset here, so they can't draw cards. But that is one of those Ugin cards. Ugin, man. And the other one, I think, is in the bottom of our library. Oh, actually, is it shuffled in? Where is it? We don't know. It is a complete mystery. Guess what? This card don't work. Um... Let's try card chart of course first. Opt. That doesn't help me right now. Well, howdy doody time. I'm gonna make a two two. As long as I have another Teferi, I think we're in the clear. Then we can finale a promise and make something happen. We're kind of hanging on the edge here because our hand is not very great. Spell Pierce was a stupid idea. It should have just been negates and that was it. Because I think Spell Pierce is more for the uh, like the mono red matchup where you can Spell Pierce like a burn spell when they only have two lands in play or three lands in play. I think that's where it's going to be the best. Ugin, man, I don't know why tonight we we saw. A few Ugans, which hasn't seen play in a while. And we saw a Liliana that hasn't seen play since M20 was released. So, that's pretty interesting. Uh, no, 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 no. What are we doing here? What are we doing? I think we can Tormenting Voice and Lightning Strike, probably, or just Opt. So what is this? Three, four, five, six. So this is for two, and we'll take Opt as our instant, and we'll take Chart of Course as our sorcery. Counter Spell. Gosh dang it. Spell Pierce. Can't counter that, man. You got it. That's a rough one. Ooh, Lightning Strikes. Uh, put the up to the bottom. We're looking for more phoenixes. Lava coil. Cool. Yep, we'll get back the old phoenix. And we'll take out their planeswalker. Okay. So we're setting ourselves up for, you know, a way to take over this game. Narset doesn't really stop me from what I'm doing. Finds them something, though. Ooh, Oath of Kai is pretty good. Oh boy. They have a follow up too. Oh, just land. Yeah, we'll kill your Narset. Hmm, this card is looking pretty awful right now. You're at a healthy 24 life. We've gone through a lot of their threats, but oh boy, howdy. That is not good for us. Goodbye. Goodbye, old friend, Spell Pierce. Something cool. No, not a Spell Pierce. That's the, the exact opposite of what I wanted. That's not good. Come on. Where is my... It, I Did I shuffle that Chandra back in or something? I'm very confused. It's got a, It's in there in the bottom somewhere. Alright, stalemate. 
Goodness gracious. Give me something. Uh, sure. Get a body on the floor. The bodies hit the floor. What do we got? Yeah, of course. Why would you hit? Gosh dang it. Oh, I could have lightning strike the spell pierced it. And paid for the spell pierce. And then hit you for three. Yikes. Miss Play City. Well, we will strike you. And then we will control and we'll strike. Target. And then we'll... Yes. Pay two. Yep, we'll pay two. Hit you for three. And then we'll bring back our Phoenix. Ooh, we're doing it. They have a removal spell. Look at them over there in their cards. Kill me. <laughs> How did I know you had another trick up your sleeve, Esper player? The old lava coil. Click, click, click. We're going to one you to death. But we really aren't because definitely going to draw out of it. Told you. Told you. I see you having your cards. What else you got? Unbelievable. What a great draw. Counter spell. <laughs> Ooh. It lived. It lives. Chandra. 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 Start a course. I will take it. Draw two, discard one. I'll take it. Woo. Do this for two. Oh, yeah. An opt. And charter course. Ooh, it's feeling good. Don't, don't counterspell me. Don't counterspell me. Yep, put that in the bottom. We don't want to land. Charter course. Sure thing. Draw two cards that are completely useless. Ooh, I should have got letter to the land. I am very, very non-intelligent right now. Because <laughs> they're definitely killing that. <laughs> they left in the cast downs. Very smart. Like I said, we're wanting you to death. Deal with it. Crap. My whole plan is foiled. <laughs> are we churning through the deck yet? Oh, cool. Let's play another one. And we'll keep the bottom one and we'll do it again. We'll grab a tormenting voice because why why would I get anything else? Ha 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 ha. You can tell that it is very late and that I'm losing my mind because I'm just laughing at nothing. Tormenting voice, go. We found it. We're not playing that card because we have a negate. And we... Oh, we could have just, you know, got our Phoenix back, but we are... <laughs> We're on another level right now. We're on another level. Okay. Pass the turn. Draw their card. Negate. Alright, so now is where we win the game. You cannot win now gonna take me a couple turns but you're not going to win this battle we will draw two cards we will draw two cards we will opt and see another land oh boy talk about land city there Holy moly, three cast downs? That was way more than I expected. At least they don't have a search res Kanta going. But they have that guy. And of course, I didn't leave my negate open. Yay! But they had to get rid of it. 
Um, oh, we have... Oh, no, we don't. <gasps> no! No! I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. What am I doing? <laughs> My gosh. Are you kidding me? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, Oh boy. <laughs> yep, just did that. Just did that. Yes, I did. Oh boy. We are hitting on all cylinders tonight. I'll tell you what. I don't know if we're going to pull this game out. Oh, thank goodness. Thank you. We won a match. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that was intense. Really wish we got it could have got the gold four. Gold three. But we won the game. Man, that was some seriously intense games. I I don't know what to say. I'm just playing like bam bam bam. I'm like a pinball. Pew, pew, pew. Playing really good, playing really bad. Making the best place, making the worst place. You never know what you're gonna get. You just never know. But hey. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy the Is It Phoenix gameplay. Make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button if you enjoyed the video today and want to see more in the future. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know if you like this deck, if you hate this deck, what you would change, or what other decks that you'd like to see in the future. Again, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And remember, magic is great and so are you. Stay positive and play Islands.